Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate you how to use Android Auto in your Android Studio Player. Using Android Studio Player has become much popular uh, recently. Uh, people are going for the base variant of the car and putting Android Studio System. This Studio System can do pretty much all the tasks uh, like watching YouTube videos. Even you can you see there is a web browser. Chrome is pre-installed in this one. There is uh, Spotify Prime Video even hotstar anything any, anything you are using in your android phone you can do it here but most of the people doesn't know that uh, you can use even android auto also in your android studio system as you know uh, know that there is a pre-installed google maps in your uh, android studio system uh, but uh, you know how frustrating it is to use that uh, because uh, sometimes it uh, the maps doesn't load uh, faster than how the how your car is going even uh, it can show you wrong routes and uh, uh, disrupt your navigation so I suggest you guys use the Android Auto system in your Android studio uh, when you are using Android Auto it uses the phone's processing power uh, to give you the exact navigation so in this video I will show you how to use this Android Auto in your Android unit in order to start using Android Auto in your Android Studio system, you need to do some tweaks in your Android system. So the first step is to install Head Unit Reload. This app, you can as you can see, this app, this is the app Head Unit Reload. Go to the Play Store in your uh, Android Studio system. This is the Play Store. Let it load. And search for Head Unit Reloader. Head unit reloader and remember this is a paid app the basic cost of this app is 413 rupees there is a trial version for this one I recommend you to use the trial version but it only works for five minutes and check uh, use it check whether uh, this app is compatible with your Android unit system and then uh, you can purchase this one head, head unit reloader emulator for Android Auto it is a 430 rupees app but uh, definitely worth it it makes your uh, uh, navigation much more free as you can see I already installed it so let's open it this is the interface of the app uh, before start using this uh, head unit reloader uh, some of the uh, uh, Android Studio systems has an app uh, pre-installed in it called uh, EC Connection. This EC Connection app is used for making mirroring your phone screen to the Android Studio systems. I recommend you to disable this app, EC Connection app. In order to disable it, you have to go to go to the settings of the Android system, then apps, see all apps. As you can see, there is no EC connection app installed on my Android unit, but uh, check whether it is installed on your Android Studio system. And if it is installed, I recommend you to disable it so that it will not conflict between uh, the head unit reloader and uh, the EC connection. Now come back to our e head unit reloader app. So you need to do a few uh, settings uh, in this app uh, before you start using Android Auto. So in order to start setting it up, go to the settings. Here is the settings. First, the graphics. Go to resolution. As you can see, there are three resolutions showing here. Uh, based on your, uh, based on the resolution of your Android head unit. Uh, there is a 1080, there is 720, there is 480. So mine is 1080 Full HD display. So I have chosen uh, the 1080 display one. If it is your, if it is Android, your unit is 720 HD display, then you can choose this one. And then uh, press a submit button, and then go to the pixel density. Then go to pixel density. So here you can see I have entered 250. So 250 uh, pixel density is recommended because uh, it will uh, show the map area entire screen. It will show the map area on the entire 
screen if if you are uh, entering 160 pixel density then the ha this until this area it will be map until this area of the screen it will be map and this area will be used for uh, music system or any other app this this area until this area this entire area will be map and this area will be for the music player so I have put uh, 250 pixel density since I want the entire screen to be filled with the map then press OK and uh, that's it and back then uh, the audio here you can see there is a set, uh, settings called enable speed sensitive volume control so so it is written here when it is activated the app will increase or decrease the audio by one increment when uh, transiting between each of the following speed limits as you can see the speed limits at 30 km per hour the speed will decrease and as you are increasing the speed it will uh, automatically increase the volume as well so I highly recommend you to disable this option because it will create a lot of fluctuations in the audio uh, while you are driving so back here. so that's it those are the pretty much uh, settings you have to do before using your Android Auto now let's see let's connect the USB cable to our Android phone here I am going to connect the USB cable to my mobile phone. And you can see the Android Auto will automatically load on the screen. Yes, the map has loaded. And this is the menu button of the Android Auto. Press this. And you can see almost all the apps which I installed on my mobile phone is displaying over here Spotify Amazon music messenger whatsapp telegram everything is showing over here and let's see how the Google Maps work go to the maps and we'll let's do a random search of a place let's search uh, Muna see how fast it loaded so now the processing power of the phone is using over here rather than using the processing power of the Android unit. And that's it. In this way, you can use Android Auto on your Android Studio system. The 430 rupees which you have spent for the app is totally worth it, right? Try it in your Android device and see. And I highly recommend you to try the trial version first before you, you are paying for the app. Because we don't know whether that app will work on your Android Studio system or not. So I urge you to first this route avoids a road closure on municipality road. Sorry for you that. On the fastest route, you should reach your destination by 6:15 p.m. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I highly recommend you to use the trial version first before you going for the paid one. And that's it for today's video. Thank you, thank you for watching my video.